So, um, this is a reply to Brad and his uh, little controversy with unfollowing everybody. Uh, he unfollowed me too, but I was able to win him back. And uh, reading his blog post and Robin, Robin's to go <laughs> blog post, it, uh, I mean, I really want my kids here so they could talk about how they deal with friendship at school. Uh, but they decided to go play with their friends because it's creepy to be videotaped by your father. But, uh, so my thought is, uh, yeah, dude, it does hurt when someone unfollows you, especially if you think you have a relationship with that person. Uh, thank God my wife is not on Twitter. <laughs> uh, but... I, I, th I think to sum it up, man, um, I thought it was really cool when Gary V followed me, and he didn't follow Brad. You know, I, I, that was a little win for me. And then I'd be like, hey, Brad, isn't he, like, your uh, hero? And he isn't following you, but he follows me, and I don't even drink wine. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, it hurts. If Gary V unfollowed Brad, Brad would be hurt. And, uh... So, I mean, it's painful, man. The web is painful. It's pretty cool, though, that it is painful because it means that uh, there, there's passion, there's uh, your emotions, and it's just a freaking screen with a keyboard and a mouse. No, but, of course, yeah, you meet someone in real life and uh, you share a beer and then they unfollow you, it might be because um, personal hygiene. Um, there's lots of reasons. And um, I knew about it like right away because I used friend or follow and I saw that he was unfollowing me. And I was going to retaliate with the unfollow on him, but instead I, I just said, dude, uh, I'm a little hurt. Um, and, and this all worked because I showed up to his front door. If you just did it in, like, a DM, well, you couldn't DM because he unfollowed you. But if you just, like, at reply, Brad, and like, this hurts, so what? But if you show up to his door and you're like, hey, uh, is uh, your dog here? Because I want to take it for a walk. You know what? Maybe I will get my kids and do this video because I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. I ran a race this morning, a two-mile race with a child on my back. And that never happens on a Saturday. I, that's pre-coffee, I think. I had a cup of coffee. And I'm all out. So it's Bloody Mary time. Brad, kudos for uh, um, doing what you do. Keep on doing what you do. And uh, don't worry what others think. If you wear... Look, that whole time I was reading a script and now I just fucked it up. God damn it.